Welcome to Don't Panic Pantry. Today we are focusing on chili spaghetti, perhaps most famously eaten at Skyline Chili in Cincinnati, Ohio. Now I have never been to Skyline Chili, nor have I been to Cincinnati, but I wanna to try to create my own version of chili spaghetti inspired by theirs, which is uh, gonna be hard to do considering I've never had it before. Boy, wouldn't it be great if I could try it. Oh, that's convenient. Look, it's a microwavable pouch of chili spaghetti from Skyline Chili already combined. Let's vent it, microwave it, dump some cheese on it, and see what happens. So the one thing that I'm a little pessimistic about is that uh, my understanding is that in Skyline Chili, they add cinnamon to their chili, which I get it. People like it. I'm not knocking people's taste. I just, for me, uh, like I'm not a cinnamon in my chili guy. I'm not a nutmeg in my bolognese guy. Honestly, the biggest problem with this is the spaghetti is just super mushy and broken apart because it was in a microwave pouch. I get it. I could see just buying the chili and cooking spaghetti. The chili, the spaghetti in the bag is the problem. I want it spicier too. I want a little more flavor in there, a little more action, so to speak. So what I'm gonna do is instead of this version, I'm gonna make Kevin Bloodso's spicy hot dog chili, a quick chili we use for hot dogs and chili burgers and things like that. And we're gonna use that for chili spaghetti. It'll be a coarser grind, like a chili grind on your beef, a spicy, fatty hot dog chili. So there are three basic areas that I'm gonna to try to improve on this experience for my own personal enjoyment. One is I'm gonna cook the spaghetti uh, to order and it'll be Albert Dente. Two, I wanna have less of that kind of blended uh, texture. I want more kind of um, rusticity to my chili. And thirdly, I wanna make it spicier. It's basically like a pretty quick chili. It's like a 30 minute chili that is really meant to be a condiment chili. It goes on hamburgers, it goes on hot dogs, and I believe it'll go good on spaghetti. Go good on spaghetti? It will taste good on spaghetti, me thinks. All right, so we got a pan over medium high heat. We're gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil to it. Quarter cup of onion, about two tablespoons of garlic about three pounds of ground beef. This is of course, coarsely ground. And now we're just gonna cook this until it gets that raw color out of it. Ben, does it hurt your feelings that none of the comments on the show so far have asked for more Ben? Uh, no. The Ben core, the Benjamin heads. Tian Fu, what's this? Okay, come here. All right, so now we got that raw color cooked out of here. And now it's time for our spice attack. This is the old chili dump. And then give this all a nice stir. And now we are getting a much more appealing color going on here in a second. This is gonna give us our sort of spice base, spices and spice from a heat standpoint. Now we're gonna put in a tablespoon of cider vinegar, one and a half teaspoons of ground allspice, one and a half teaspoons of tightly packed brown sugar, and then here we have two tablespoons of beef bouillon powder dissolved into two cups of hot water. That's going in right now as well. Quarter cup of ketchup, tablespoon of yellow mustard, and one and a half cups or eight ounces of tomato paste. This is two four ounce cans, fun little trick. If you puncture the bottom, it allows air in and the whole thing kind of slides out a little bit easier. See? And then I'm just gonna stir all of this in together. And actually, I find that the, the tomato paste and the ketchup, it gives it that kind of glossier texture that you want versus just like meat and spices. There's like fat, obviously, from the meat, but there's like a, something with like that sugar, that emulsified, that like thickness to these ingredients that really kind of makes this guy sing. So as, once this is all well combined, we bring it down to low, reduce it to a simmer, covered for about 30 minutes until it's all nice and tender and flavorful. But it kind of looks like chili pretty fast, you know? Drop this down to low, lit it, and forget it. Well, don't forget it. 
stir it occasionally. See you in about 30 minutes. All right, it's been about a half an hour. Let's check on our chili busters. Look at this guy go. It's looking kind of chili-rific. Tasting for flavor and also like the tenderness of the chili itself. Mm hmm Ooh. Spicy, salty, nuanced, complex. Yeah, and even the bigger chunks are still pretty tender. Yeah, so it's spicier, it's got more texture to it. It's less of that smooth, emulsified, kind of blended sauce vibe. You actually have to chew it, which is nice. The other one, you could probably just have swallowed it whole. And guess what I'm adding to it, Ben? Salt. And then while we're here, let's season our pasta water. Make as much spaghetti as you want to eat. We should make a comically large quantity to fit in this bowl. Ooh, he burned his Yes. This might be the first al dente chili spaghetti in the history of America. Let's drain the pasta. And this will be the only time on this show that you'll see me just put pasta in a bowl and dump sauce on top. Let's take some of our onions. My brain says that I want to put the cheese on next, but that's not the way they do it. In Cincinnati, this is not a subtlety dish. We're not going like light on the cheese. We're doing it sky high. Welcome to Chili Spaghetti Town. Remember when I was worried this wasn't enough pasta? Oh, buddy. Very hot. This is pretty rad. Honestly, getting the noodles cooked correctly is the key to the whole thing. Just texturally, doesn't it look way better now? I'm not gonna lie, I, what I want right now, I want the camera turned off and I want it to be in a dark room with like a large glass of whiskey. When they say eat your heart out, does that mean you're gonna have a heart attack when you eat the whole thing? Mm. I'm actually very, very happy with this. Shout out to Kevin Bloodsoe for making an amazing 30 minute chili recipe that turns out to be, in my opinion, better than a microwavable bag of Skyline chili with spaghetti already attached. Mm. That's delicious. Like and subscribe. Recipe is down below. Also, please order the Don't Panic Pantry cookbook out now. Let's do this thing. Let's make it the number one cookbook in the history of America. Mm -hmm.